What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna be tackling that guilty pleasure staple, the ice cream cocktail. Now I can't tell you exactly when ice cream was put into cocktails, but by the late 19th century, it was definitely done very much. And we can find evidence of this in William Schmidt's 1892 uh, book, The Flowing Bowl, which has no less than 20, 20 ice cream cocktails. So we know that bartenders uh, by at least 1892 were old hands at putting ice cream in cocktails. Now this is a style of cocktail that the respectable cocktail culture has sort of turned its back on, but I'm really glad to see a lot of kind of the top bartenders sort of throwing their hat in the ring of these wonderful styles of drinks. I really like them. You know, they can't claim to be super complex, but they are absolutely satisfying. So let's get into making them, shall we? All right, first cocktail we're doing is the grasshopper. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of green creme de menthe, an ounce and a half of white creme de cocoa, and you wanna make sure to use white so it doesn't throw the color off on this cocktail. We're gonna do one teaspoon of Frenet Branca to give it a little depth and complexity. Just a pinch of salt. Then we're gonna do one ounce of heavy cream, or uh, sorry, half and half. Not heavy cream, but half and half. And then we are going to add our ice cream. Three big scoops of ice cream are called for in this, in this drink. I'm using vanilla. Uh, and then we're just gonna put it into our, uh, into our drink mixer. Oh, like that, there we go. And then we're just gonna blend it away. And this will take a little while. Uh, and then if there's some ice cream left in here, that's quite all right. It will eventually melt and help keep it cold. And then we're just going to pour it into our glass like so. And there you have the grasshopper. All right, let's taste this guy. Ooh, that is like wonderful, fantastic mint ice cream. Uh, and the Fernet Branca really adds this nice layer of complexity. That's what I really love about this particular recipe. This is uh, fantastic and it tastes in the taste. I'm like, I gotta taste another taste and I can't even. Come on, I gotta take another taste. This is like a really nice nightcap cocktail or something, you kind of end your evening or if you're not really wanting to drink too much and you wanna just have something to sort of cap off a meal, this is a fantastic cocktail to do it. So the grasshopper was created at uh, a very old, actually I think the second oldest bar in New Orleans named Two Jacques around 1918 by the bar's owner, uh, Philip Guichet or Guichet. It's G-U-I-C-H-E-T, so I think it's Guichet. I think it's Guichet. Uh, but the version that we're doing today is the ice cream version that you can be found at a bar called Pepe Lamoco in uh, Portland, Oregon. And uh, created by a famous, or like the famed Portland bartender, Jeffrey Morgenthaler, uh, who also uh, owns and runs Clyde Common. So there it is, the grasshopper. All right, next cocktail up is the pink squirrel. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, one ounce of creme de noyau. Creme de noyau is a French uh, liqueur, like an old French liqueur. It's made out of apricot stones or what they call kernels. Uh, bitter almonds, and then herbs and spices. Uh, then we're gonna do another ounce of white creme de coco. Three big scoops of ice cream. And I do kind of massive scoops of ice cream. You guys use your, use your discretion. And then we're gonna blend it up. All right, I think that's about ready. Then uh, we're gonna pour it into our glass. And this one, we're gonna give the royal treatment too. And then we're just gonna give it a little creme de noyau on top. Hmm, it was good. So, I mean, this cocktail tastes like the sum of its parts. It's just a fantastic kind of nightcap cocktail. You know, when, I mean, it is as good as you want an ice cream cocktail to be. You know, it tastes like stone fruit, it tastes like that kind of bitter almond flavor, it's a little bit sweet, it has the creme de co cacao sort of bringing up the back end, and you've got that nice, you know, kind of creamy vanilla kind of rounding it all out. So this cocktail was invented by a barman and bar owner named Bryant Sharp in uh, 1950s in Milwaukee, Wisconsin uh, at his own namesake bar, Bryant's Cocktail Lounge. 
Uh, and it is a very, very famous cocktail in Milwaukee, in Wisconsin still. Uh, and there are many, many bars who have done kind of reconstructions on that, and that's what we've done today. So there it is, the Pink Squirrel. And so for our last cocktail of the night, we're doing a mudslide. Yes, you heard that right, a mudslide from TGI Fridays. First thing we're gonna do, one ounce of vodka, one ounce of Kahlua, and an ounce and a half of Carolyn's Irish Cream. Uh, then we are gonna do three big scoops of vanilla ice cream. And put it in our mixer. All right, we're just gonna take our glass, pour in our drink. Just gonna give it a nice little grate of chocolate. All right, let's taste it. Yeah, it tastes like a, it tastes like a, a boozy, rum-infused chocolate milkshake, and that's exactly what you want a mudslide to be. The Kahlua, which is a coffee liqueur with rum in it, actually has this, you know, fantastic sort of spiced flavor kind of bringing up the, the mid-palate right there as you sip it. So as for the history of this, this was created in the 1950s in the Cayman Islands at a bar called The Wreck, but I am pretty sure that it was made Ultimately, it was made famous uh, in the 1980s by TGI Fridays, which was itself made famous in the 1980s by a little movie we like to call Cocktail, starring Tom Cruise. Uh, today's recipe we have uh, comes from Devin Tarby, who uh, is a Proprietors LLC partner, all right? So Proprietors LLC is the consultancy that the Death & Company people put together. Devin Tarby is a, a bartender that came up through the varnish and someone I know pretty well and uh, she went to go work with uh, Proprietors LLC, and now she opens bars and creates bar programs all over the world with them, which is pretty amazing. And this is her kind of reconstruction. So there it is, Devin Tarby's Mudslide. So there you have it, three ice cream cocktails to sink your little sweet tooth into. These guys are pretty simple to make, so you really have no excuse. You should taste all three of them tonight, today. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on our Barfly memberships. Check us out on uh, Teespring because we got some cool, awesome t-shirts there that you should be doing. Uh, definitely go sub our other channel, Barfly Freeport. We have a lot of fun over there and we have a, we have a lot of fun. You guys should go sub it. There's 173,000 of you. You should, guys should definitely be subbed on the Barfly Freeport. I, I guarantee you really like it. It's all booze related stuff. All right, guys, see you on another time.